YouTube, today I'm gonna open the Nerf and Strike Modulus Battle Scout ICS-10. Here's what it looks like. Okay, let's open it. Okay, here we go. So everything that's included in the package is the End Strike Modulus darts, 10 of them, an HD 720p camera, the instructions, a 10 round clip, and the blaster. So let's read the instructions on what we should do first. Here's everything that's on the blaster. I'm um, a stock attachment point, a slide, a barrel extension point, the trigger, two sling mounts, one here and one here, one tactical rail, and yeah, that's everything on the blaster. Here's how the camera works. Here's the slot to put in the SD card. Here's the status light. Here's the mode selector, and there's this little switch, and when it's in the middle, at the O, it's off. If you turn it to the left, it's video, and to the right, it's picture. Here's the tension knob, the, the activation button, and yeah, that's everything on the camera. This is how to slide the camera on the gun. It's just like any tactical rail attachment part. You just slide it on like that. And then you turn the tension knob left to tighten the camera on. Before you do anything with the camera, you need to put batteries in it. There. Then you put in your four AA batteries. Then you just place the cap back on and screw it back. So once you've put the batteries in the camera, the next thing you want to do is put the SD card in. To put it in, all you do is open this door, push it in, and close the door. Then, while it's off, nothing will happen, but whenever you turn it to video mode, the light will turn green, it'll blink twice, and then light up to show there's an SD card in. And then, even if you put it in picture mode, the light will blink green twice, and then stay green to show that it's in. Next, whenever you're in picture mode, to take a picture, if you are in picture mode, all you have to do is press the activation button right here. The light will be red for like barely, like less than a second, and while it's red, it means it's taking and capturing the picture. Let's take a picture of the fireplace. Next, this is how to use video mode. So how video works is what you do is you switch it to the camera and then you press the button. And it's gonna stay red while it's taking the video. And then to stop the video, you just press it again and it should not be red. And now data. No data. Okay, there, so that's how the camera part works. Whenever you wanna put the footage somewhere, all you have to do is take out the SD card, plug it in your computer, and just use that footage. So there's gonna be four different things this camera can do with the lights. So if your light is blinking green, it means it's just checking the system. If your light is blinking yellow, it means there's no SD card in the camera. If your light is staying yellow, just one yellow light, it means the SD card is full. And then if the light is blinking red, it means the camera has low batteries. So now I'm gonna show you how to load the blaster and fire it. First of all, to load the clip, all you need to do is put the 10 darts in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three. Then all you need to do is put it in the side of the blaster, cock it, and fire. Let's shoot up to the roof. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, when you're out of ammo, the clip is just gonna stay here like this and you can keep cocking it and shooting. 
but it won't do anything. And then you pull it out like this. So this gun must shoot pretty far because I shot it at the roof and I was shooting up and it hit the roof. So if I was like shooting straight forward and I was in a big field, I would probably shoot farther. So I made a target using cups and I'm gonna shoot them on top of the fireplace right now. I'm also going to be recording on this camera. Oh, I turned the big pyramid into a little pyramid. Out of my mouth. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Bye, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Peace out.